The Manley Bowser was the first purpose-designed aircraft engine, built in 1901 for the Langley Aerodrome project. The engine was originally ordered from Stephen Bowser in New York, but his five-cylinder radial engine design failed to live up to its claims. Langley's chief assistant, Charles Manley, then reworked the engine to produce a design that held the record for power-to-weight ratio for any engine for many years. Manley later worked for Glenn Curtis, and was one of the team members who designed the mass-produced Curtis Ox 5. Background The problem with powering the aerodrome had been known as early as 1898 when work on the person carrying versions first started. At the time the gasoline engine was a fairly new invention, and no engine in the world had the needed performance. After a short search they decided to contract the development to one of the few engine builders in the area, New York's Stephen M. Balzer. Balzer was a Hungarian immigrant who had a mechanical bent and started designing various devices while working in the watch repair department in Tiffany's. He followed this with a night course in engineering, and struck out on his own to develop what would become New York's first car in 1894, a small four-wheel carriage powered by a three-cylinder rotary engine of his design. Balzer was convinced he could build an engine to Langley's requirements by scaling up his existing design into a larger five-cylinder one. Langley gave him a contract in December 1898, and work started on the new design. Engine development The engine was completed fairly quickly, but proved to be underpowered, delivering 8 to 10 horsepower 6 to 7 kilowatts compared to the 12 horsepower 9 kilowatts Langley wanted. As would be rediscovered by many engineers after him, Balzer found that scaling up his existing design simply didn't work. Manley worked with him to try to improve the design, but by 1899 it was clear that it wasn't going to work any time soon. Bowser never gave up on the engine, and continued to work on it for years, eventually going bankrupt. Every engineer Manley met on a trip to Europe in 1900 told him the rotary design was hopeless. Manley eventually became convinced as well and started work on adapting one of the existing Bowser engines into a non-rotating radial engine. The main concern was cooling, which he solved by welding a jacket to each cylinder and filling it with water. The results were promising, and the engine was soon delivering 12 to 16 horsepower, 9 to 12 kilowatts, double its previous output. This version was soon in place on a one-quarter scale model of the Great Aerodrome, which flew successfully in 1901. Encouraged by this success, Manley started scaling up the engine with larger cylinders and new lightweight pistons. The resulting design weighed 120 pounds (54 kilograms) and delivered 52 horsepower (39 kilowatts), making it by far the most powerful lightweight engine of its era, far outperforming the one that would eventually be successful on the Wright Flyer. The engine was delivered in March 1903 and installed on the aerodrome for testing that summer. In September, the aircraft was moved to a launch platform on a houseboat in the Potomac River. With Manley aboard as pilot, the aerodrome crashed in spectacular fashion in its first test on October 7. Langley had also fallen prey to the scale it up problem, and the full sized model of what was a sturdy one quarter scale model was hopelessly fragile. A second test also ended in a crash into the river on December 8. Manley survived both times. In 1914, Glenn Curtis used the engine in the heavily modified aerodrome in an effort to break the Wright brothers' aircraft control system patent. In additional flight tests the Curtis team used a different and more modern engine. Years later the Smithsonian Institution asked Manley for a monograph about the engine, and he wrote an account that significantly downplayed Bowser's contribution, reducing it to supplying a non-working design that he rebuilt. Bowser's family was upset, and the Smithsonian eventually wrote a much more balanced version. <laughs> Specifications. General characteristics Type – five-cylinder water-cooled one-row radial engine Bore – 5.0 in 127 mm. Stroke – 5.5 in 140 mm. Displacement – 540 in cubed 8. 85 L Dry weight – 136 pounds 62 kg. Topic. Components Cooling system, water cooled 
Topic: Performance. Power output: 52 horsepower, 39 kilowatts at 950 revolutions per minute. Specific power: 0.10 horsepower in cubed, 4.4 kilowatts per liter. Power to weight ratio: 0.38 horsepower per pound, 0.63 kilowatts per kilogram. 